All right, this is for the 2013 to 2020 Fusion. We are in the process of replacing the door handle, but when you put the door handle in, it won't go into place. So what I figured out, instead of having to take the whole window out, the whole latch and the handle assembly, because the latch and the handle is one whole unit, what you want to do, mine locked in and I didn't get the handle to fit in. Don't know how well you'll be able to see it. But this metal plate here, I don't know how well, let's see how well I can get to it. But basically that metal plate back there, you'll see like a little opening. And what I do, I take a screwdriver, I'll try to get inside of there and pull it back as if the handle is pulled back. So it'll take some little finagling with, and you want to be gentle because the glass is just right behind there. So you don't want to jam it in there and pry. You just want to gently push it into place, get it into the little opening. So I'm right there. Let's see if I can do it. That'll take a little bit of a time. Just kind of feel around for it. Don't think I don't think you'll be able to see it too well, but I'm inside of it, and I'm going to pull it back as if the handle is pulled back. And what I'm going to do is take a it is a T27, and I will unscrew it. Therefore, what that does is it pulls that metal plate back and you would just want to unscrew it all the way until it just bottoms out all right so this is a little bit better view a little opening stick your screwdriver into it and i got mine all the way tightened down like if i had the door handle installed so like i said just kind of wiggle it around Up there i hit the glass Okay, now I'm in, you can kind of feel, and when you pull, you'll feel some tension to it. All right, so I finally got it. So like I said, I had this screw all the way tightened down. I took my screwdriver, that little opening there, I just fit my screwdriver in there and just kind of pushed away from me. So I pushed towards the front of the car I held it there while using my left hand and unscrew it until it just bottoms out. You don't want to go past that. And after that, it basically stays there. Go and get your handle. Slide it into place. And what you want to make sure is that these little ears on it fits inside those two prongs on the top and on the bottom is what wraps around here so it wraps from the back or the front part of it or whichever side you want to call it so basically it'll hold it like that so this one here will have to get that what I like to do this will require two hands I will hold my left hand or whichever hand you want to use onto the door handle and I'll use the other one and tighten that down slowly until it clicks into place. Then tighten down some more and it should just pull right it pull itself right back in. Alright, so this point here, I was tightened it down. I felt it click in. It pushed in a little bit. And now you want to tighten down some more. If it doesn't click after a while and you hear a, a thump sound, you'll have to restart this process all over again. So now it finally went in all the way. And you can just go ahead and just... Tighten it up. And like I said, you don't go crazy tight. So at this point here, bottomed out. That's all you need to do. Then just verify that it stays in place and that it's got tension on it. So that's all to it.